All right, welcome back, guys. This is a continuation of our first video on um, writing cumulative sentences. So we're going to review, and then you're going to do some examples of cumulative sentences as related to your narrative unit. All right, so let's review real quick. So first, let's talk about features of modern sentences. Um, first, the first part of the sentence up to the comma or the dash is a general sentence. We talked about that. Um, it's your standard sentence. The first part of the sentence up to the comma can stand only. So it can stand by itself as a normal sentence. And then you have the parts following the first sentence, or actually following the first comma or the dash that describes the first part of the sentence. The, par the parts following the commas can't stand alone by themselves. They're actually clauses and they're really not complete sentences but they can be followed by that first comma or dash. All right, so there, these are the rules for writing a cumulative sentence, and you need to make sure that you pay attention to these rules because the expectation is you're going to write some examples of cumulative sentences following these rules. So the first part, again, up to the sentence is called a base clause. So every time you write a cumulative sentence, you have a sentence that has a base clause, and that base clause can stand by itself as its own sentence. Everything else after the base clause are called additions. Now, these additions can't stand alone without the base clause. So that means each addition is uh, almost a sentence fragment in of itself, but together they make a cumulative sentence. Now, these additions are separated by commas and or dashes. All right, so let's look at an example. I'm going to zoom in on a little bit. All right. It says he lay for a quarter of an hour without thinking. So this would be your base clause. Notice how there's a comma that comes after it. Lips parted, legs and arms extended, breathing quietly as he gazed at the figures in the wallpaper until they were hidden in darkness. So here in this sentence, again, you have your base clause, and then you have one, two, three, four additions. <clears throat> so that's one way that you can write a cumulative sentence. All right, let's look at another example, and I'll zoom in on this one. I sensed the wrongness around me, like an alarm clock that had gone off without being set. So again, here is your base clause. I sense the wrongness around me. And then here's your addition, like an alarm clock that had gone off without being set. Ah, what type of figurative language is that in that sentence? Even though it's an addition, there's a certain type of figurative language in there. All right, here's another example. Her hair was slicked against her head with a bun in the back, a proper married lady hairdo. So again, here's your base clause. And then here's your comma, here's the addition. Third example, on the corner, a guy played the saxophone, the sound sliding into the darkness and echoing off the bricks. Again, your bass clause followed by your addition. All right, so now we're going to look at verb clusters. And this is something you really need to pay attention to because the expectation is, is that you are going to be writing sentences that contain verb clusters. So a verb cluster or verb clusters are a type of cumulative sentence. Um, verb clusters use ing words. So these are verbs or present participle, which is a type of verb after the base clause. So another term, as we just mentioned, for a verb cluster is a present participle. So let's look at some examples so you can see what the expectation will be when you write your examples in your notes. All right, so here's one. I'll zoom in on it. The faces of the clouds were piled up, hurting. So here's your base clause, and then here's your verb cluster. One verb, and this is an example. It can be one verb that follows the base clause, followed by the comma, or it can be different um, and include other words, like this example. I climbed the fence, jumping down with a grunt. So here's your base clause, comma, verb cluster. There were teenagers in the picture 
comma, grinning at the camera. Base clause, verb cluster. And the last one, Byron started walking toward Mama in a slow in slow motion, sliding his feet in the snow. Again, base clause, comma, verb cluster. Now, here's the part, and let's go back for a second. Here's what you're going to do. And you're going to do this right after this video in, the, in your um, Google form. I want you to create cumulative sentences based on your narrative, and you're going to use verb clusters. Now, in your um, cumulative sentence, you could have multiple verb clusters after your base clause. In these examples here, going back for a second, there's only one verb cluster. There's one verb cluster here, there's one verb cluster here, there's one here. Now, you can make these sentences uh, more cumulative by adding additional verb clusters after each sentence. So I could take this period off, put a comma, add an additional verb cluster. Same thing here, I could take this period off, add a comma, add an additional verb cluster. So the idea, if we go back here, is to create a cumulative sentence that varies in length. So sometimes you can have cumulative sentences that have five verb clusters or four verb clusters or three verb clusters. So the idea, and I'm going to put this in the directions below, is that I want you to write cumulative sentences that have more than one addition. I want you to vary the sentence length. So that means you're going to have to have a few that have uh, maybe only one verb cluster or two or three or even sometimes as it says here five verb clusters and all these sentences should be based on your narrative alright so try that think about it and record that in the Google form and um, that's how you get your bonus XP alright until next time take care